Hello and greetings. OpenAI just released the newest version of GPT which is GPT-4. And today I will show you how to integrate that with Google Doc to generate text with any prompt and get the results directly into the Google document. The best thing is that we don't need any third-party extension or plugin. This will be direct integration between OpenAI API and Google Doc. An important disclaimer here is that I will be integrating GPT-3.5 Turbo which was released just nine days ago. GPT-4 API is not yet accessible, but the procedure is exactly same. I will ask you to stay with it, and you will like this solution. We can use this to generate text which can be an article, a blog, a summary of some text, some product description, some story, or literally any type of text you need. You can use it with any language. And we will also generate images using Dolly, which is another open AI model that generates AI images. I will demonstrate everything, explain the code I have written, and show you how you can use this at your end. Before I go further, if I check the email from open AI on the launch of GPT-4, it says that GPT-4 API uses the same chat completions API as GPT-3.5 Turbo. The word same is important. So we don't need to change anything in code if we are using GPT-3.5 Turbo or GPT-4. Now what is GPT-3.5 Turbo? For that I will check one previous email I got from OpenAI just 9 days ago when they launched GPT-3.5 Turbo. It says that GPT-3.5 Turbo is the best model for non-chat use cases. TextDaVinci003 was the previous model and now the latest model is GPT-3.5 Turbo. In OpenAI documentation, it shows that GPT-4 is the latest model, which is more capable than GPT-3.5. However, the email mentioned that GPT-4 API uses the same chat completions API as GPT-3.5 Turbo. Here is the GPT-3.5 Turbo model, and I am sure when GPT-4 API will be released, the same code will work for that except that we will change the model name, which I will show in a while. Now let's see the working demo of the code. I created this simple table as user interface for basic input, so that you don't need to go to code and change the values from there. The first cell is the API key which we need to connect to OpenAI API. I will show you how you can generate your API key, and then you simply need to put your API key in this cell. Then over here, we need to write the base prompt. By base prompt, I mean whether you want an article, or summary, or story, etc. And here you need to provide the number of images you want to generate. OpenAI allows 1 to 10 images in one call, so put a valid number here. If you don't want to generate images, you can put 0 or leave this blank. Now inside the document, you can write the topic of the base prompt you provided in the above table. For example, importance of physical activities for human health. Now comes the last part, where we will use this menu bar option, ChatGPT 3.5. This is the customized menu bar option, which is generated with the code that I will show in a while. So what you need to do is, select the prompt description, and then go to this option, and click Generate Text. You see, it says, Running Script. Just wait. Script is finished. And see that we got a very detailed text. And then we have the two images generated with Dolly. Now I will change the base prompt to something like, summarize this to 10 lines. And I don't need the images now. I will select the whole text. With text selected, I will run the code. The code is finished. And see that at the end, we have a 10 line summary of the text. Now I will quickly show how you can use the solution with some other language, for example Spanish. The idea is very simple. Just put the base prompt and the description in that language. So I will copy the base prompt and will translate that into Spanish. We'll do the same for the description. And now we'll select the description in Spanish and run the code.
See that at the end, we have the 10 points in the Spanish language. Now it's time to see the code. For that you can go to extensions and then app script, or simply write app script in help. This will open a new window with a script. This part is creating the custom menu bar option. You see the name is ChatGPT 3.5, which you can see here. I think the name should have been simply GPT 3.5, but anyways that's not a big deal. This generate text option you see in the menu bar runs the function AI text. The important thing is this line where I have specified the model as GPT 3.5 Turbo. This is where we specify the model, and in case of GPT-4, when its API will be accessible, here we would need to provide the name of GPT-4 model. I have not tested that since I don't have the access to GPT-4 yet, but I am almost 100% sure about it since the email from OpenAI says so. When I will get access, I will mention detail in the description. Next parameter is temperature, which is set to zero. You can see this link for detail about different parameters. For temperature, it says that a higher value means more randomness in the output text, and lower means more focused output. Therefore, I set that to zero. Now here, I have specified the maximum tokens to 3,500. Firstly, what is token? When we use OpenAI calls, it consumes tokens. When we create a new account, we are given free tokens, and those are consumed in these calls. Once finished, we can buy more and trust me, they are very cheap. I will show you that detail at the end. At present, let me tell you why I chose 3500. Higher the number, higher can be the length of the generated text. If you see the documentation, it says that one call to this endpoint can take a maximum of 4096 tokens. By the way, GPT-4 model limit is double of this, which is 8192 tokens. There is a connection between tokens and the number of words in the text but the length of the prompt is also used in these token calculations. So if I will set that it can use 4096 tokens to generate the text, then I have no token left for the prompt and it will generate the error. By the way, we specify the maximum tokens here that could be used to generate text, but it does not mean all those will be consumed. For example, if the prompt is to generate two lines, then of course those two lines will consume just a few tokens. Anyways, the point here is that 4096 are the maximum tokens that can be used, and that includes the prompt text. And hence to accommodate prompt text, I need to use a lower value here. Now it's time to show how you can use this solution at your end. All you need is the link to this file, which I have provided in the description. I will show you the exact steps on my other account. Before that, I will request you to support me by pressing the like button and subscribing to my channel, where you can find content related to Python programming, AI tools, robotics and much more. My voice you are hearing is generated by Microsoft Tool, and you can find the tutorial given in the description. Let's continue. I will open the link. You will not be able to edit this doc. You can create a copy of this file. You can name it anything you want and can also select your Google Drive folder to put this file in. Copy is created here, and now you are the owner of this document. It also contains the script attached to it. Wait for a second, and the Customize menu bar option will appear. You don't need the original file. And see the menu bar option is here. Now you need your API key to use here. For that go to this link which I have provided in the description. If you have not created an account on OpenAI, just create that in a couple of simple steps, and then you will see this interface. Simply click Create New Secret Key. And the key is here which you can copy from this button. Paste your API key here. I will remove all previous text. Let's say I want to have the base prompt as technical specs of some product. Inside doc, I will specify the product as iPhone XS. Now I will follow the same process by selecting this text and executing the function. When we run any Google Apps script for the first time on doc or any other Google workspace, it issues a security warning and asks for authorization. 
Simply follow these couple of steps to grant the authorization. Authorization is completed, and it will not ask for it again. Let's generate the text again. Script is running. And we get the technical specs. See how beautifully it has categorized different specs. These are display specs. Then for dimensions. Then for chip. And finally for the camera. This is quite impressive. You can view the code here as well again either from extensions and app script or typing app scripts in help. At the end, I will show you a couple of useful links of OpenAI and all are provided in the description. This is to generate API key. We already saw how to generate that. Here you can find the pricing detail of the tokens. You will see those are very cheap. Initially you get free tokens and at any time you can see the status of your tokens from this link. You get $18 worth of tokens for free and you can see your usage here. One very important point is the mapping of tokens to the number of words. You can find that detail here. Approximately 75 words are generated with 100 tokens. I hope you liked the content. Thanks for watching.